like your style Put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile Girl I swear for you I'd run the world, I'd run the miles The way you look at me I think I'm going insane What is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at number six on the NFL's top 100 greatest players of all time list. In the previous video, we looked at number seven, of course, which was Reggie White. Unfortunately, he passed away in 2004 due to complications with sleep apnea. But he was the leading sack leader in the NFL, 198, although that has been overtaken by a guy called Bruce Smith. But anyways, no research, let's crack, let's crack into this guys. I'm gonna roll the intro and see you back here in a minute. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is oh. Okay, Johnny. Nobody knew Big him. John, let's go. Nobody knew him apparently. Didn't look like a football player, didn't act like a star, and then to come out of nowhere to the right place which was a town that he was just perfect for. Baltimore. Nobody even knew his name. Flat top. Unitas was how he was first introduced. Unitas. Eventually, everyone would know the name of this obscure former semi-pro quarterback. Johnny Unitas' career became the sport's most famous Cinderella saga. This was somebody who Came from the Number six on the list. It's incredible. Working class background. Comes to a working class city and refuses to put on airs. We liked him because he was tougher than any quarterback. The hits that Unitas took somehow added to the whole oh. power. <laughs> Big he left hook. Was bereft of any kind of glamour. And so, when we began to win, it meant more to Baltimore than it would have meant to any other city. And I really mean that, to any other other city. We had nothing else. Unitas belonged to us absolutely completely. Unitas' career-defining performance in the 1958 NFL Championship game helped change the course of NFL history. Position was born that day. The, the great two minute drill at the end. Nobody ever talked of that sort of thing before. The idea that you were going to move down the field, bing, 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 like that. That was really a new concept. Unitas threw for 349 yards and directed a game tying drive with time running out. Then, in an unprecedented sudden death overtime period, he threw the Giants off balance with his bold, unpredictable play calling and led the Colts to an historic victory. Great call, cool, mate. Great call. Cool. mind thereafter, and, and, and every quarterback since then, whoever it is, one of the Mannings, Brady, whoever, can be placed in that template. It, it all descends from Johnny Unitas on that December day in 1958, driving them down the field. From 1957 in control. through 1960. Johnny Yu set a record by throwing at least one touchdown pass in 47 consecutive games. That record still stands, and no one has ever come close to breaking it. Really? It's more likely that DiMaggio's 56 game hitting streak record would be broken than United's 47 touchdown passes in a row, because it's that extraordinary. Well, that's spanning over three in a Three, three seasons? I guess, I'm thinking, man, that's, that must have happened, surely. But maybe not, that's, that's a record we've got, to, we've got to check at the end. You know, I never knew that I was throwing touchdown passes in every ball game and had setting some kind of a record. I don't look at the record books that we win. That's all I care about. The 
it's not important whether Unitas was the greatest. He is the quarterback for all time in the same sort of category as Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth is the baseball player for all time, no matter what kind of records are set, no matter what happens to the game. Unitas is the one and only now. And as such, I think he'll only be more legendary as time passes. I gotta say, it's the first flat top haircut I've seen in the whole of whole of the list. It really is. Uh, let's go. Most touchdown passes. No, most consecutive touchdown passes. Consecutive games with touchdown passes in the National Football. It wasn't the NFL though, was it? It was before that. All time consecutive games with at least one touchdown pass. Oh my god. <laughs> it has been, it's been, br oh my god. Wow, I did not expect that. Since this was, fucking hell, since this was made, it's been broken three times. No way. Drew Brees has two entries on the list. Drew Brees, oh my god. 54 consecutive games with a touchdown pass from 2009 to 2012. And again, from 2012 to 2015, 45 consecutive games. And we've got Johnny Unitas at number four with 47. They said in that video it was never going to come close to being broken. And that's because all of these, re all of these times that it actually did get broken started basically just after that series was created. That's fucking insane. I did not expect that. Drew Brees, 54 consecutive games. Tom Brady, 52. Peyton Manning, 51. And Peyton Manning's record was uh, at the end of his Colts career and at the beginning of his Broncos career. So it was over the span of two, two teams. <sighs> That's insane, man. I did not expect that at all, but I'm glad I looked that up. Johnny Unitas, mate, you're a, you're a trailblazer in the world of, of dynamic quarterbacks, driving the, driving the team down the field for that, two minute, for that last two minute drive. Fantastic, mate. Absolutely fantastic. In the next video, we're looking at Walter Payton, a legendary running back called Sweetness. And one of my favorite reactions I ever did. One of my first and one of my favorite of all time. Walter Payton. He was uh, one of the first names that was recommended to me before all these subscribers, before all these comments came, started coming in. Walter Payton was, was one of the originals that did get react, that did get uh, recommended to me, sorry. So um, it will be good to have another look at him actually and I can't wait. So stick around. If you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. In the next video, we'll be looking at Walter Payton, a.k.a. Sweetness. So I'll see you then. Peace out.